Hello again, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well out there. I want to look at some uh, some Johnny Lightnings. Let's start here with the uh, Nash Metropolitan. Now, these cars were in real life are really small cars, but as far as scale, as far as a die cast model, this thing seems to be on the large side. Still a great looking car. I'd, I'd like to find a version that actually has the roof up. But pretty nice overall. Um, when I was a kid, there was some guy in our town who had a, a pretty big yard and he had tons of these things. He literally had probably 30, 40 of them out in his yard. Uh, and that was back in the seventies. So either that he was obsessed with them or maybe he was selling them. Not really sure, but cool car. That's for sure. All right, so there's the Nash. So I got four cars I'm looking at here today, all different. Got the uh, Boss 302. And that's an old Johnny Lightning. I think that's actually even a Plain Mantis era Johnny Lightning, I believe. Nice with the uh, gold, sort of goldish uh, and the green. Good looking Mustang. Something a lot different for you next. PT Cruiser. My mom had a PT Cruiser. Not a bad little car. Still see a lot of these on the road, so that's a good sign, but I, I never figured out why they stopped making them. Uh, but they did. But, uh, yeah, I like that. And one last for you. Uh, and I bought this loose um, a number of years back. And that's a Citroën. Uh, with the mud splatter or the rust and um, yeah that was uh, from the uh, Buffy the Vampire TV series so that's what this uh, version is supposed to be the only Johnny Lightning uh, Citroen I have and that's pretty cool well the back wheels for whatever reason, they're just a little bit wacky and they don't, it doesn't really roll, but it still sits nice and it still displays really nice. And, uh, yeah, it's an awesome car. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everybody.